Echo VR is back from the dead. And also for those of you who knew it as Echo Arena, it's the same thing. Whenever you go into Echo VR, you have the option to go into Echo Arena, which is the disc throwing, or Echo Combat, which is the FPS variant that came out later. But a lot of people have been wondering in my live streams how it's back since it was shut down August 1st of 2023. Well, I'm here to clear the air and let you know how you can get Echo VR today. It's not the right place for us to invest resources. Uh, you know, the user base is, is, is small, measured in, you know, below 10,000s. I'm not, this is not like a return on investment money standpoint. And we have some regulatory constraints that we are required to do that make it even more expensive to keep up. And I'm not talking about money back to meta. I'm not talking about trying to make money. I'm talking about the return on the human capital, the people that could be doing something that's going to affect millions of people, but instead they're trying to keep something alive that, that affects 10,000s of people. Can we open source it? Uh, and the answer is basically no. It's like very deeply entangled with a bunch of our systems. It's not the right time to invest in resources. The user base is small. Needing to redirect their human capital, unclarified regulatory constraints, not being about the money, and that it's too entangled in their systems. Well, until we get some more clarification than a bunch of ambiguous statements from Boz standing outside of his house answering questions through a personal Instagram story, rather than releasing it on an official press release, I am going to remain skeptical. But let's try to focus about it being too entangled in their systems, because I already have a full video out on what I believe is a more practical reason about why it shut down, which you can see is a card on the top of the screen, and you can watch after this video if you want. There may be some truth to that, considering that they didn't delete the game, and that's where I think some people got confused. I had endless comments in my live streams recently of people just saying, hey, I thought they deleted this game, when in reality, it was more like the developers updated a wall into this game. Previously, you boot into Echo, press play, and load into the lobby, but but after the shutdown, you're greeted with a message that the game has been discontinued. The modder found a way to essentially get around this wall, downgrade the game before the update, which gives individuals the ability to access the game as well as host their own servers. And yes, I did say THE modder, because even though Boss claimed that there was no way for the community to try to keep this game alive, a single modder who stated that they did this as a proof of concept in their spare time for educational purposes managed to get it running. I'm so sorry, but there's no way that we can get Echo run- I did it. What? What, what do you mean you did it? I did it, I did the thing. You can't just make Echo accessible. No, I, I just did it. It's, it's free and accessible for everybody now. You're welcome. What the fuck? However, the servers that allowed people to connect to each other on the game were disposed of or repurposed by Meta. So in order to get around this issue, Vibinator, the host of the Echo Combat Lounge Community Discord, created their own third-party servers that we can all use to connect and play Echo together. And to get this out of the way early, because I know there's going to be some sweaty neckbeards in the comments that are going to be like, oh, this is clearly older footage, you can tell by the color shading over on the left. Here's a clip from when I was recording just last week. I got a question for you. Just so I'm not called a liar by anybody, can you tell me today's full date? Prepare to capture the point. What is today? God damn it. <laughs> November 5th, 2023! And if you're still unconvinced, you can watch my recent YouTube live stream or Twitch VOD where I was using the Quest 3 the whole time, which came out after Echo shut down. But now let's go ahead and talk about how you can get Echo working on your VR headset. A few clarifications before we get started. Default cosmetics are available and do save across games now if you're in social lobbies, arena matches, or combat matches, and they are in progress for giving everybody access to all the cosmetics aside from the VRML and the dev-specific cosmetics. There is full proximity voice chat. Echo Arena and Echo Combat are fully playable. You would have had to have had Echo VR previously installed on your meta account at some point, so if you've never installed Echo VR, unfortunately this won't work for you. And unfortunately, at this moment in time, you have to use Oculus PC VR in order to play because there's not a standalone version working at the moment. But before those of you in standalone quest leave the video or get upset about it, I was told that there were some interesting things in the game's coding by Vibinator, so hopefully this will be available on standalone quest very soon. He also says that he wants to prevent community fragmentation over this, so if you want to socialize with others in their Discord, I'll leave a link for the Discord in the description below. There is an easy way and a more complex way to install because we all know that technology can be a pain in the neck. So I'm going to show you both ways to install so in case the easy version doesn't work, you can do the more in-depth way. First, go to link 1-1 in the description below to download the Echo Relay installer. This is a program that can simultaneously downgrade your Echo VR game and gain you access to the third-party servers created by Vibinator using the workaround created 
by Xenomega. You can put whatever username and password that you want to in there because it's not specific to your meta account. So if you wanted to have a different name from your normal account name, now is your chance. But the server owner will be able to see your password, so make sure not to use a password that you use for anything else. Make sure that it's going into your game's folder, which yours should look similar to mine if the program doesn't detect it automatically. Press that you understand the notice after reading, of course, and you're done. There has been an observed issue that some people's installs don't include the config.json file, and if that's the case, I will leave an individual download for that specific file down in the description below in link 1-2, but you'll need to join the Echo Combat Lounge Discord in order to gain access to it. And from there, you'll just need to update the portions underlined in red shown here on the screen and have your username and password in there mentioned like before, where instead of how before you typed it in little boxes, you just highlight the text and type in whatever you want your username and password to be. However, if this doesn't work, go to link 2-1, which is the entire Echo VR version before it shut down. Then go to link 2-2 and download the second link here. From here, you'll throw the pnsovr.dll file that you downloaded in link 2-2 with your folder that you downloaded in 2-1. Go to Ready at Dawn Echo Arena, go to bin, and then win 10, and drag the file in there to replace it. Then go to where your Echo game is installed, and once again, it should look something like my file pathway, but if you have trouble finding it, go to where Echo is installed on your computer through the Oculus PC VR app, and it will tell you the exact file pathway in order to reach it. Replace all the files in there just by dragging it over. And lastly, go to Ready at Dawn and then local underscore to open up the config file. Once again, if you don't have the config file, just go to the link in 1-2 to get the config file. And then change the underlined portions for the username and password manually like we mentioned before. And that's all you need. After this, you boot into Echo and everything will be working as if it never went down in the first place. The there will be some server delay of course because this is running off of people donating their resources to run the servers free for all of us. And I have noticed some issues of it creating new lobbies rather than throwing people into lobbies with each other, but other than that the servers are fantastic. Thank you all for watching and if you want to see anything else Echo VR related, I'll leave the livestream VOD and the video as to why Echo is getting shut down at the end of this video. And if you made it this far in the video, just know that I love you and I'll see you in the next one.